Hello viewers, welcome to the Content Zone. Today in this video we will talk about best gaming keyboards under $100. However, before we start our countdown, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. So, let's get started. A good keyboard can make or break your PC gaming setup. Upgrading yours is one of the easiest ways to improve your performance and make gaming more enjoyable overall. A solid gaming keyboard doesn't have to break the bank. There are plenty of great options that cost less than $100 with some available for less than $50. We tested out tons of budget-friendly keyboards to help you decide which one is going to give you the most bang for your buck. Here is the list of best gaming keyboards under $100. Aki KM G14 TKL Mechanical Gaming Keyboard The $50 G14 is one of the most affordable mechanical gaming keyboards available and Aki has stepped up its game with the build quality and software without increasing prices. This TKL keyboard is chunky but still saves desk space since it doesn't have a number pad, check out Aki's G12 if you want that feature. Although the case is all plastic, it has the heft of a metal frame. Combined with the non-slip pads on the bottom, this keyboard won't slide around while you're gaming. Plus, there are two sets of flip-out feet at the back giving you three typing angles to choose from something you don't always find on pricier keyboards. And while its USB cable is attached to the body, Aki did add routing on the bottom so you can send the cable out to the left, right or center. The company's blue clicky switches are good for both typing and gaming with a tactile bump you can feel and hear. These switches have a loud click to them, something to keep in mind if you share a workspace. Also, there is no pinging from the switch springs, unlike the slimmer full-size G12 keyboard, so all you really hear is their click. There is some key wobble but it's relatively minor and overall it's a solid typing experience. The keycap legends are difficult to read with the backlight off. However, with 18 per program lighting options to choose from and 4 brightness settings, there's little reason to have the lights off entirely while you're working. You can always replace the keycaps, too, and Aki includes a puller. Software for the keyboard can be used to create your own per key RGB lighting, set up key macros or change key assignments and save multiple profiles. The G14 is a great place to start if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards for work or play. Razer Sinosa V2 Gaming Keyboard if you're most comfortable doing your office work on a membrane keyboard, the Sinosa might be the gaming keyboard for you. It's a membrane keyboard, not mechanical, so the keys are quiet and definitely feel softer than the others here and some might find them mushy. Still, if you're looking to use one keyboard for both work and play, this is a fine compromise for its $60 list price. Many of the original Sinosa's features carry over, including per key RGB lighting a rarity at this end of the market and durable spill-resistant design. What's new is a set of media keys added to the upper right corner. Razer also added cable routing under the keyboard so you can keep your desk a little tidy. This is also one of the most programmable keyboards here. There are a lot of preset lighting effects to pick from and you can also create your own using the Synapse 3.0 software. There's also Razer's HyperShift feature that lets you set up a secondary set of functions for your keys that are accessed with a shift key you choose. You can also rebind keys and set macros with the software. Whirlwind FX Atom Whirlwind FX's Atom 60% mechanical gaming keyboard isn't too different from other similarly sized options. The compact build is a space saver, great if you need extra mousing room while you game. It'll also slide easily into a backpack for travel. The company offers a choice of three mechanical switches, and they're all brilliantly lit with RGB LEDs. The Atom's backlighting, or more specifically the software that controls them, is where this little keyboard stands out. The thing is, you don't even need the keyboard to use the software. The Signaler GB app lets you set the keyboard's lighting to have different effects during regular use and when media is playing including various games. The app has a library of game integrations to choose from. I tested the Battlefield V integration, for example, and it does things like turn the keyboard lights red when HP is low or green when you're healed. There are a lot of games available, and, if you really like to tinker, you can create your own integrations using the company's open platform lighting software. However, the Signaler GB software lets you take things a step further by expanding the effects to your other RGB gaming peripherals. It supports more than 150 devices from Razer, Corsair, HyperX, Logitech, SteelSeries and others. You can also request others that aren't supported yet. 
Also, if you prefer a full-size keyboard, check out the company's second-gen element keyboard that has the same switch options but it has directional keys and a number pad. Logitech G413 Carbon Gaming Keyboard Even on Logitech's lower-end models such as the G413 Backlit Gaming Keyboard, the company doesn't cheap out on build quality and components. It uses the same Romer G tactile switches found on its more feature-filled models and has the same slim, simple and durable keyboard design with brushed aluminum magnesium alloy top case. It has a braided USB cable with a USB pass-through port on the back right and channels underneath for mouse and headset cable management. The tactile key switch is relatively quiet with no click when actuated, just a subtle bump and a short actuation. If you love to hear and feel your key presses, this probably isn't the best switch for you. There's just one color for the backlight red but the backlighting is bright and the key font on this full-size keyboard is easy to read. Logitech includes 12 faceted keycaps, which is nice but we didn't feel much difference. The G413 is programmable with Logitech's G-Hub software, letting you set up macros and custom functions on the F1 to F12 buttons and there's a game mode that shuts off the Windows key. Overall it's a more polished mechanical gaming keyboard than the others here, but it's also pricier. Corsair K57 RGB Wireless Gaming Keyboard If you want a wireless gaming keyboard and lights, consider the K57. This budget wireless keyboard uses rubber dome switches with a pronounced actuation point, which gives it more of an office keyboard feel like the Razer Sinosa. Gaming on it requires a touch more force than the mechanical keyboards here and rollover is limited to 8 keys. Aside from those, the experience is just fine. The K57 wirelessly connects to your PC via low-latency Bluetooth or Corsair's 2.4 GHz. Slipstream technology that uses a tiny USB-A adapter for lag-free gaming. It can also be used wired with the included micro-USB cable, which charges up the keyboard, too. While it doesn't have the longevity of the Logitech when you're using the per-key RGB lighting, you can get through several days of gaming without needing to charge it up. A row of dedicated macro keys on the left and discrete media controls on the right round out the features. Plus, Corsair's software is straightforward to use, which makes creating custom keyboard lighting and setting up those macro keys pretty painless. Logitech G613 Wireless Gaming Keyboard Finding a good wireless gaming keyboard can be difficult. These babies are a rarity because the last thing you want to do is potentially introduce lag into your performance. The G613's light speed wireless performs as well as wired and its battery life is stellar at up to 18 months on 2 AA size batteries. That said, the keyboard has no backlight whatsoever, which while understandable for the power savings, no keyboard backlighting really kills the gaming experience in the dark. You do get six programmable buttons down the left side, so that's something. The G613 uses the same Romer G tactile mechanical switches as the G413, so everything I said about that one applies here. This wireless keyboard is definitely one you should try before you buy if you can. So this was our today's video. Thanks for watching and we hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe if you like our videos. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.